who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. Hi, my name is Eli, and I'm a daily vlogger, and for the past five days, I have survived without social media. Why I have undertaken this insane experiment? Let me explain. So it all started with my girlfriend, who looks like, uh, does she look like that? Oh, I don't want to get into trouble. She actually looks like this. She tells me that I can't live without social media. Me, Eli T. Vlog, the king of social media. Well, challenge accepted. Now here's the thing. My family decided to pack their stuff and fly from Germany to Israel to go on a wedding. My whole entire family left the house and there's literally no one in this house anymore. Why I'm not able to join? Someone needs to feed the dogs. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, this was the reason I was left behind, not only without social media, but also without family. I am officially home alone. Hope we didn't forget anything. They might be watching this. I'm cleaning the kitchen. I'm doing the laundry. Taking a dog for a walk. Vacuum cleaning. Day one of this experiment um, I don't really miss social media so far, but I do miss YouTube. Um, I miss creating a movie. I mean, I'm obviously still filming, but I feel like the editing part, that is where you create a movie. And because I don't have to upload today, I am not creating a movie. I miss that. Um, I don't miss Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, going through what people are up to. I'm not too much into that. I would much rather have you tell me in person what you're up to. Other than that, it's blizzardly cold. I'm talking minus 15 Celsius, which is why I can't really leave the house. I mean, I can't leave the dogs outside because they'd literally just die. And now we're all just chilling inside. I'd usually just watch YouTube now, but to my regret, I can't. Day one is over. It's 11 p.m. Um, my phone usually dies at around 9, 10. Um, and I'm a, I didn't check what, what, what the amount of percentage is right now, but I'm going to check it right now and let's see. It's what? It's still at 57. My phone only needs about 43% of its battery if I didn't use social media. The battery lasts for about three hours every day. So about one and a half hours I'm spending on social media using my phone only. I admit. I missed social media the first couple of days. But look at me now. I'm eating Chinese food, watching a Netflix show. I made fire. And I'm eat and I'm even. And I even got healthy, that's what I wanted to say. Anyways, I'm not missing social media anymore. But it's not always been like this. Especially not on day two. Day two of this stupid experiment. Um, you see, the fact that I'm home alone makes it all so much harder. I replace YouTube with TV shows, but TV shows are not personal. If I sit at home not doing anything and no one to chill with, I would watch someone's vlog. Vlogs are so personal that I feel like I'm experiencing whatever that person is experiencing with that person. Also, because I see the vlogger every day, I kind of create like a relationship to that vlogger, which means we're basically friends. So watching a vlog for me kind of feels like going on an adventure 
with a friend while doing nothing at home. But because I can't do that, I'm gonna call up some friends. Whoa. No, I'm dizzy. I'm calling up some friends. To sum things up, I have four friends separately coming by this week. I don't remember the last time this happening. We couldn't really do anything because of the home alone situation and the weather, but four friends in one week, that's like high school times. <laughs> I admit that sometimes it was difficult not to go online because I was home alone But I'm pretty sure that I would have wasted my time on social media and not hang out with my friends if I was allowed to go online We're watching a movie and the sex scene is about to happen But he fell asleep, I don't know why should, should I wake him up? Buddy, buddy wake up, you're missing the sex scene Wake up bitch <laughs> We could be as one and you see, I was always able to see what my friends were up to online and for that reason I never saw a need to hang out with them But I'm glad I made this experiment to find out it's not like that Sunday morning, the experiment is officially over, my family's back, um, I made it guys. Here's what I learned, social media is perfect to stay connected with people that you're not able to stay in contact with because of distance or other circumstances. But there's so many friends we don't necessarily hang out with because we can just see what they're up to online. That gives us the feeling to, to not miss them and still be part of their lives. I mean, this is probably already clear to you, but what they share online is, is not what they would share with you. It was tough at some times, guys. I can't deny that. But four of my friends came by in one week. That would have never happened if I didn't make this experiment. Also, my eyes stopped hurting a little bit because I stopped looking at this beautiful screen the whole day. Guys, today is Sunday. I'm uploading this video again. Um, let me know, what do you prefer? Do you want me to do vlogs again? Do you want me to do every three days? Do you want me to do every five days like I did this time? Let me know in the comments below or DM me or whatever. Thank you so much for waiting. Who the fuck is that guy? Thank you so much for waiting. Thank you so much for subscribing. I mean, I'm glad this is my work. This is my life. This is what I do. And uh, I'm just happy that other people are uh, enjoying my content and subscribing to my stuff. So thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Aloha, motherfuckers. Aloha. Motherfucker? We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Take away the pain, we can go insane. I can feel it, it burns inside. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Take away the pain, we can go insane. Trust me, I won't let you down.